The seasons come and go like thoughts of you Like a wave returns to the sea into the blue They change but in a cycle that I can't lose Each painful but delightful to live through Well, a very, very warm welcome back to Paul Dolan Details channel. This is a video I've been waiting so long to put out for you guys. Um, I've got a bit of a checkered history with cars. My first car was a Mark 1 Escort. I've had some Vauxhalls, numerous Fords, but nothing like the cars you're going to see today in this video. I've teamed up with Royal Details. If anyone remembers Sean from Royal Details, spoke about him online. He sent me down some EZ products to test and review. He's gonna be on camera, but not doing your average cars and certainly not doing your average washes. Please, this collection behind me belongs to a guy called Chris. We've got some historic Fords. We've got an RS2000, like the one you see behind me. Behind that is a Mark II Mexico. Over here is a RS Cosworth and then a very special RS Mark I back there with 7,000 miles on the clock. We're gonna get the cars cleaned with numerous products. All the products will be linked underneath the video as ever. And we're gonna to chat to Chris, the owner, about the cars. He has got wadges of history with these cars, you would not believe. The actual RS2000 behind me is my favorite car of all time. Forget your Ferraris, forget your Lamborghinis. If I hit the jackpot, that would be the car I'd buy. It's always been my favourite car. I don't know what it is about Mark 1 Escorts. I know loads of you out there that love Escorts. You love the Mark 2s, you love the Mark 1s, but that car for me, it does it. So let's crack on the video and just indulge your passion, which is car porn. So let's kick things off with an amazing looking car, the Ford Escort RS Cosworth. Sean's a lucky guy. This is Sean from Royal Details. He's going to be doing the Escort, and you're going to see Ches, which is um, Chris's son. He's going to be lending a hand today as well. So start off with the uh, wheels as, as ever. These were obviously pre-rinsed down. I'm not going to concentrate too much on the stages. It's really all about the cars. Uh, this is the high definition breakthrough, the wheel shampoo. Obviously in between stages, the car is rinsed repeatedly. Very, very warm day. Moving on to the pre-wash stage, Arctic meltdown. Pretty unavoidable washing these cars in the sunlight. I can tell you one thing, Sean didn't have that hoodie on for long. So I've used this uh, Arctic meltdown before. It's a very good uh, snow foam. It's got a nice clean rate. You'll be pleasantly surprised at what comes off this car. Sure I'm working the snow foaming. Give you a detail brush. Give me a damn good rinse. And then moving on to two bucket wash. So after another rinsing stage, it was onto the drying stage. Once this was done, this car was actually moved back in the garage to be properly dried. So while Sean is drying off the Escort, let me introduce you to this. Chris, this is the owner of this amazing car collection. Hi guys. Uh, this Mark 1 Escort, as I said in the beginning of the video, is my favourite car in the world. Forget your Ferraris, forget your Lambos, this is the real deal. Now, there's a couple of key points that Chris wants to go about this car, a few points about the history and the age of it. Over to you Chris, you just want to tell us a little bit about this yeah, gorgeous okay, RS. So, so this car was done 16 years ago originally by CWC Restorations uh, and it belonged to a guy called Charlie Chisholm who's, who's well known within the old school Ford um, business. Um, 
and it was a massive, massive show winner. Um, it's a 1973, part perfect, part correct, um, RS 2000 Mark I. Um, but it was redone 15, uh, it was redone in 2016, not because there was particularly anything wrong with it, but just because out there winning trophies got tougher and tougher and tougher. So it was actually done just purely for gaps and closing doors purposes, just to make it um, up, up there with, um, with the rest of them, really, and to carry on winning shows. But um, luckily for me, Charlie decided to get rid of it. So as we know, this car's been unmolested. It's completely straight. It's not been lowered. It's not had anything done stupid to it. It's got the ori everything's original. Original decals, the lot. Uh, anything else you can tell us about? What sort of power output is this pushing out? Because obviously it's a standard engine, it's isn't it? It's a standard engine, so whatever they put out, I would guess it puts out. Whereas um, the, the Mark II, which we'll look at in a minute, has, has got some different bits and bobs on it, but this would be standard. Um, you know, compared to today's cars, <laughs> not very quick, but surprisingly, a good fun. Yeah, very good Puts fun. more of a smile on your face, having less power perhaps than some of the others do that have got lots of power. Absolutely. Now I'm just going to walk around the car myself. You saw some clips in the beginning of the video just to show you how pretty this car is, how unmolested it is. Excuse the sun, it's a very, very bright day today. So everything's original. Obviously, in the comments section, loads of you will be saying, well, why don't you do this to it? Why don't you do that? Well, I'm going to show you the interior. Just make some adjustments to the camera. Original dash. Seats and original radio. Amazing bit of kit. Well, people will tell you different, but I know you can buy these on eBay if you're doing up an RS2000. But these original ones, which these are, are rarer than hen's teeth, and that's the thing about this car. So, those of you in the comment section, put your comments of what you think of this car. It is the real deal, and as you can see, perfect. Those Force fans out there, notice the angle of these shocks. Uh, Chris has just been telling me there was only 20 made with the same angle as this he's got the literature literature to prove it so those of you looking at this thinking this has been mucked about that is the original angle so this is all the original switch gear on the rs2000 complete the original radio and look at those heat controls moving on to the next one the Mark II Mexico, complete with Weber carb. This is the second of the lovely Fords. This is the Mark II Mexico. This is another favourite of mine. Obviously, slightly later than the Mark I. Uh, Chris is going to tell us a little bit about this one. So it's a 1600cc. This Chris, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's got um, some slight mods. Not a lot though. It's just got some different. Uh, Weber carbs on it. Um, other than that, um, it's, it's basically the original engine. They're both the original engine, but I must say it's quick because um, that can't keep up with it. Um, but this was the start of the trouble, really, because I, all I ever wanted was uh, a Mark II RS2000 like I had when I was a teenager. Um, and then, of course, I, I ran into this and had to buy it. Um, and yeah, like I said, this was the start of start of all this mess, really. Um, but this is um, my son's favourite one. He loves this car. Um, a lot of people don't like the signal green, but um, you know, for me, there's yellow ones everywhere. There's white ones everywhere. You don't see them very it's quite often. Quite unusual, um, isn't it? Yeah, and the black vinyl roof. Um, there's a story that goes with this. Actually, the guy that had this built, he um, he had one of these in 1976 with a black vinyl roof, and uh, that was his dream one day to relive his youth and have one built. And um, he was fortunate enough to have the money. He found this shell, which um, we'll take some pictures of in a minute, won't we? Yeah, which definitely. was basically yeah. not a lot left of it at all. Um, you probably probably see him better down a scrapyard. And he built this, um, like I said, exactly the same as his original one by the carburetors. He had the black vinyl roof, which we've got pictures of. Um, and this is this is an exact copy of what he had. So, And again, like I just said about that one, I was lucky enough that um, he came to me when he wanted to sell it. So, And I've got my arm on my hip again. 
<laughs> Don't worry about that. We'll edit that bit out, Chris. <laughs> so let me just show you this vinyl roof. Uh, those of you, the younger audience, won't really recognise this. This is what was done in the day. Vinyl roof. And then the cheeky little boot spoiler around here. Done badly in the day as well, weren't they? <laughs> yes, yeah, they were. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, in the day that was a spoiler. That was yeah. what you called a spoiler. Yeah, so all you JDM lot out there, this is a spoiler. None of these great big things bolted to the back of your Nissan. That was what we knew as a boot lip or a boot spoiler. And of course there wasn't eBay in them days. You could buy one of these from down Halfords and you could uh, stick it on with a bit of mastic on your, on your standard uh, 1100L, couldn't you? Yeah. It's incredibly hot out here today, so I have to excuse the sun glare if there is some chaps. Let's just uh, open the door. This is the interior of the Mark II Mexico. Kept to original standard with the original radio. Cheeky little rev counter in there. It's me again. I guess a few of you might notice that that button's not standard. That's uh, power steering from a MG Metro. That's def definitely different, Chris, but yeah, that's. Oh, thanks for pointing that out. No, I wouldn't have even known what that was for. One thing that doesn't come across on camera is the smell in this car. That original smell. Sorry, that was me. Oh, the original <laughs> smell. <laughs> so I've come inside for a minute just to show you this. This is uh, just some of the, the books that Chris has got on these cars. This is the history you can see. This was the, the restoration of the vehicle when a guy was building it. It's just all the different stages of how far it went back. I'd love to go through this entire book with you. There's loads of stuff in here. Right up to the stages, the paint, the bare metal, down here. And it just goes right through. There's pages and pages of documentation. There you go, and that's the Mark II. When it gets to the Mark I, this is even thicker. This is, obviously, it's been restored. Uh, we say it's an original, it's original up to a point. Obviously, uh, it was soda blasted, believe it or not, this car. So it's taken right back. But the actual Mark itself is kept as original as possible with all the different bits of detail. There's the logbook everything in here it's look at it there's just pages and pages and pages of documentation it's an avo shell so it's a type 49 and then we come down here and this is not quite so much history information this is uh the cosy brochure not too much to show about that so all this history chris has kept So I've got a couple of cheeky shots of the Mark I RS Focus. I'm gonna hand you back to Chris, who can tell you a lot more about this car than I can. Uh, sadly, this wasn't actually washed when I was filming on the day. From, um, from a guy I know who's got some beautiful, beautiful cars. Um, and I bought it to sell it on really. That's done 7,400 miles, to be honest with you, um, from brand new. And um, I knew of another one that had been, um, that had been um, refurbished underneath and cleaned up and all that. And I knew that this one had been driven allegedly in the wet and been used for those 7,400 miles. So like I said, I did buy it to sell it on really. Um, and I thought I'd have a little play in it. Um, but I don't know if you've uh, got any shots of just it hasn't been used in the wet, and it really is. Um, it, we was astounded when we saw it. Um, it's just astounded how clean it was underneath, inside, and everything. Um, my son's had a drive in it, and I've had a drive in it now, and uh, unfortunately it's not for sale now. We're keeping it. Um, I've decided that I'm gonna put a few thousand miles in it, on it in the next 10 years, um, and then it'll be for sale. So if anyone wants to buy it, it'll be 10 years time. So in the comments section, remember this, screenshot it, and then give Chris a call in 10 years time, you might be able to bag yourself a bargain. 
7,400 miles. So I'm going to take it up to about 10, I reckon. Um, but I can't get rid of it. It's just mint. It is absolutely stunning. So I'm back in the garage with Sean, and he was uh, busy applying a nice glaze from the EZ range. It really is a special colour. I can't tell you what we were talking about. <laughs> if you're a lip reader, go ahead. This is the last car of the day. We're going to show a lot more of the, uh, what's going on with the cleaning regime because Sean's out there just about to start on the uh, Mark 1 RS. But um, this is the Escort Cosworth. If you're a big fan of these, like from the 90s, you remember these going around, they're getting rarer and rarer, and clean examples like this. And I, by the way, when I say clean, this is ultra clean. Chris will show you this car, it's staggering. He has a habit, I think these cars find Chris. I think it's the other way around, but he is a bloody good, <laughs> he'll probably agree with me on that one. So Chris, you're gonna show us about, uh, tell us about this car. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say a little bit about it, but I think this one's gonna have to speak for itself. I mean, it's 22 years old, so it's a 1996. It was driven for a year. It's done 11,000 odd miles. I don't really use it because it's my pension. I am gonna use it this weekend. I've decided that I'm gonna use it a bit. I get a lot of criticism from people why have you bought it, what's it doing? But like I said, this one is my pension. I drive all the others. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is standard. Everything's standard on it. I mean, I, I have a look around it. What else can I say about it? It, it? it was driven for a year and it was locked up for the other 21 years in a heated showroom. Um, and here it is now in my heated garage. Um, but like I said, we've driven it a little bit, but not very much. And uh, it is mint. So when I say mint, if you walk around the front, now if we forget about detailing for a while, just concentrate on the paint. And if you can get this on the camera, there's no stone chips, nothing. All the plastics are all nice and clean, fresh looking. There's no stone chips on the headlights, they're not faded. So this particular Escort RS Cosworth has the Lux package. This is the full leather. Pretty luxu luxurious even, get your words out Paul in here. And obviously with a very low mileage, like new. So the last thing on top of the glaze went chrome, which is the EZ spray wax. And that's the finish that was left. Pretty impressive. So I did say Sean was doing this. He got stuck into another vehicle, which I didn't actually film. He was getting stuck into the van, which was parked right up the back. This is uh, Ches. This is uh, Chris's son who gets involved with this. Nice father and son bonding time on some pretty amazing machinery. So same process really, rinse down, the EZ products being used. Chris getting stuck into some polishing with some auto sole on the chrome work. The seasons turn and change just like your mind. So those of you who might even recognise this brush, this is the uh, Tough Shine tire scrubbing brush. As I said right at the beginning of the video, plenty of rinsing going on. Not so much shown with the shampooing stages. I can assure you it was done. I'm drifting from car to car. Trying to catch, just catch a summary action. For both these cars, the Mark 1 RS2000 and the Mexico are kept in air chambers.
we're coming to the end of this epic day. It's been a gorgeous day. We are in sunny Essex. And thanks, massive thanks to Chris for showing us around the cars and uh, telling us about the history of the cars. If you've got any comments on these cars, if you've had one of these cars in the past, don't forget to interact with the channel and put it in the comments. Uh, we will be back on the products on the next video uh, with a surprise car. Uh, we are taking delivery of a new car or a new classic. So look out for that on the channel. This has been a very, very different video. My well, thanks to Royal Details for Sean. Thanks to Chris. And we will see you again in the next video. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And I'll catch you on the next video, guys. The seasons come and go like thoughts of you